Welcome lovely people and here in this video I am going to take you through the process in designing an attractive church flyer which is this one you are seeing on your screen right here in Photoshop. I am going to make mention of some keen steps which is going to help you advance with these steps I know and believe you are going to come up with something creative in this field of creativity you don't want to miss these steps fam so don't skip any part of this video so i welcome you all once again if you are new here thank you for stopping by and this is what we do we learn how to design flyers and posters just like this one we are about to do from start to finish so if this sounds like something you're interested please smash that subscribe button to be a part of my family here on youtube and if you are old here i salute you welcome back kindly go down into the description to download the resources needed to design this flyer and let's get started all right let's jump right into it so i come up here to file and click on new we are going to create our work page for our design i want a specific work page so i'll come up here to print and locate a4 so we are going with an a4 work page these are the dimensions in millimeters okay so just in case you would want to know always make sure resolution is on 300 and i'm taking the color mode rgb color okay so in my case i'm going to give my documents the name okay so i'm giving it the name my youtube family okay fam so hit on create when you are done all right guys so first we are going to tackle the background so always make sure to get a very nice and attractive background for your designs okay so let's get right into it i'll come to the create new field and click on solid color okay i already have the colors in my foreground colors okay right there just as i have sampled and this is it so this is the solid color we're going to work on so from here i'll just create a very nice ellipse using um the ellipse tool just as you're seeing it okay so i'll show you the color when i'm done so i'll create this nice ellipse and i'll release it when i'm done so that's it and all i'm going to do is to make sure it is at the center of the page and this is way cool so i'm going to show you the color and this is the pink color i am going with so that's it that's it all right guys so from here i'll go to edit and free transform to enlarge it a bit more like that just as you're seeing it and i'll go to select and select or just to make sure it is well centered on the page from there i'll go to filter blur and gush and blur i'll convert it to smart object because ah, i might need it later on okay yeah that's it so all i'm going to do is to increase it to the radius of um 600 just as you saw okay so this is it 600 pixels and this is what we want this creates some uh, gradient feeling on the page and that's what i want so we have gotten it so locate your resources and bring in this um radar background it is just an image so bring it in and all i'm going to do is to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise just as you are seeing it and enlarge it to fit to the page just like this all right guys so this is the texture and all i'm going to do is to find a suitable blend mode for it okay and there are a lot of blend modes but then i'm going with multiply it is too dark so i'll just reduce opacity to something lower to 25 percent and this is popping out nice okay it is important don't say it is not important it is important so locate your resources again and i'm going to bring in this pillars okay image onto the page and this is it i'll move it to the top of the page and i'll enlarge it a bit more and i'll move it to the top a bit like this just as you are seeing it and this is what i want on the page and we have gotten it okay i do always do not want my um images uh, clear enough okay so i blur them out so i'll go to gotcha blur and blur it out a bit okay something small okay some small amount of pixels just to make it um not clear or that um not visible like that so eight pixels is giving us the type of blur i am talking about so this is more like the before and the after just as you said it from there i'll go to my blend modes okay and put blend mode on screen okay and this is looking good already all right guys so for me all i'm going to do is to brush around it so i'll just give this layer mask on the image pillars image and take my brush tool okay so sorry for how my brush tool is going to appear this is as a result of my screen recorder it is not giving the brush size on the page but then i'm showing you my brush settings just in case okay so i have size on um 
1400 pixels hardness on zero percent all the time and take soft one brush always make sure opacity and flow are on 100 percent and take the foreground color black easy peasy all i'm going to do is to brush is circles or this pillars image from the top right scanner here and this will be easy like really easy just as you're seeing i'm brushing in circles okay just around this pillars image and to the top like that just as you are seeing it okay so i want to brush more at the top just to get that part dark like deep right there okay and the sides a bit like just in round like circles like that you go around it like that so this is the before and this is the after in circles like this easy peasy all right guys let's move on all i'm going to do is to take my ellipse tool again okay i'm going to draw this nice ellipse you can do this with the brush tool okay but i'm making it easy just for beginners okay that are watching this okay all right guys so i'm just making sure this ellipse is well centered on the page and i'm going to double click in the thumbnail and just set a nice yellow color for it that's it this is the yellow color we are settling with so this is way cool from there i'll go to filter blur and gush and blur so i'll convert it to smart objects and all i'm going to do is to blur it out um to some amount of pixels which will make it um spread nicely on the page and 180 pixels is what we are settling with so this is way cool from there i'll go to the blend mode and put this lights on the blend mode linear dodge just as you're seeing it so this is way cool all right guys so all i'm going to do is to go into my resources so locate your resources and bring in this dotted texture image on the page and this is way cool enlarge it to fit to the page this image is going to give us the scratchy effect on the background okay so from there i'll put blend mode on this image on something nice okay and color dodge is the best for it so color dodge all right guys so this is what we are settling with it is too um light like some too light on it so i just reduce opacity and that's it 70 percent is okay so this is our background so i'll group all of it and just name it background okay guys so that's it this is how you create an attractive background for your designs and this is easy i presume okay guys let's box up from here we are going to add the man of god onto our work so locate your resources in my case i'm just going to file and place embedded and i'm going to bring in this first man of god all i'm going to do is to reduce him so that um he becomes small and making sure that he's at the center of the page and at the top right there just as you're seeing it i'm arranging this man of god nicely and on the page just as you're seeing it this shouldn't be all that um big he shouldn't be all that big on the page so this is way cool from there i'll give it a layer mask and take my brush tool um, sorry again for how my brush tool is going to appear and you already know why and let's box up so i'm just showing you the brush settings always make sure opacity and flow are 100 and take the foreground color black let's go so all i'm going to do is to brush this sharp edge on this man of god and i'm going to brush him so that he blends with the background nicely just as you see it so this is way cool all right guys so all i'm going to do is to bring in the other man of god i am speeding it just for us not to waste time if in case you find any problem in um arranging the man of god i have a video on the card up there to help you and it will help you go through the arrangement and positioning of the man of god so make sure to watch that video if you are finding any problem on this part okay guys so we are good to go all right guys so i'll go to my resources and bring in this man of god i separated him because um he has to be separated and that's it i'll just reduce the size and put him right here just for you guys to see how the arrangement is going to go about so i'll just give him a layer mask and take my brush to i'll zoom in for you guys to see okay so this is it all i'm going to do is to brush the bottom of this man of god just for him to be within the background okay just as if he's also hiding okay somewhere in the background just to make it look attractive and nice so from here we're going to add the effect 
two always make sure to add the effect to make your man of god look nice and attractive so i am taking this man of god go to camera raw filter and add the um, numbers to these features just to make um, the man of god or this man of god attractive so this is it that's it so this is what i do to make the man of god looking attractive sexy nice sharp and clean okay this is awesome it makes your works look presentable and attractive so that's it always make sure to follow this um, procedure i am showing you uh, just as you're seeing it and you'll be good okay so that's it always make sure that um you reduce the whites and uh, the highlights if um the whites on the image okay the lights on the image is kind of too high so that's it i'll just increase the clarity a bit more to 45 and hit okay and this is it this is it okay this is what we are having on the page and the man of god is looking nice so i'll show you the before and the after like that i will apply the same process to the rest of the man of god and i'll see you when i am done okay guys so after applying the uh, same process to the man of god i will write the names of the men of god attached to them so that we don't waste time in this video so catch you when i am done and welcome fam links to download the fonts are in the description just so you know you can download them as well and everything will be good okay these are the names of the men of god which is the mog so we are done with the men of god so all i'm going to do is to group all of the names of the men of god and name it names of mog and we are good to go so that's it that's it for the names of the men of god from here all we are going to do is to add the church name so i'll come and take my horizontal type tool and we are going to type in with a font montserrat but then um extra bold italic so i'm going to type in the name of the church and arrange it at the center of the page i want it a white color so there's it and we are good to go welcome farm and we are done with the name of the church so all i'm going to do is to take my horizontal type 2 from here and add the necessary details okay so i'm going to zoom in so that you guys will see what is going to happen right here so please pay keen attention um key attention over here because we're going to um, use some format which is going to be the third part of um the steps you have to know to create an attractive flyer so pay attention and we'll be good so i'm using the font human and that's it so i just typed in the control just as you're seeing it I, I will enlarge it a bit more just like this okay just so that it feels nicely on the page just as you're seeing it so 
this is way cool i'm making sure that it is at the center of the page um to my liking and enlarging it okay i'm making the adjustment this is also part of the design process okay so all i'm going to do is to just spread it wide a bit to 20 va like that just as you're seeing it. the font itself is it is too compact like that so yeah just spread it wide to 20 like that from here i'll give it a gradient overlay in the layer style and this is my settings i'm going with so yeah i'll click inside the gradient and that's it so i'm going to set the gradient like that okay so this is the first gradient and i'll just change the color of this uh, color um a bit like that okay so that's it we are done we are done and this is it all i'll do is to hit ok because i'm actually down from here and we are good to go all right guys so from here all i'm going to do is to take the horizontal type tool and just bring it on a page like that i'm going to change the color to white like this and change the font to montserrat font okay so yeah i'm just going to search it in my fonts like this and any of them is okay and we are good so i'll change the uh, size like that just as you're seeing it okay so i'm going with montserrat semi bold italic and just typing in and it's more like um taking absolute control like that so just as you're seeing it so this is way cool all right guys so all i'm going to do from here is to add this nice effect okay which is going to use the shape okay to add this nice effect so I'll take my ellipse tool and draw this nice ellipse on the page just as you're seeing it. And I'm going to change the color to red just as you're seeing it. So this is not the actual color, but then it is for the meantime. Okay, so I'll make a duplicate with Ctrl plus J and give it the highlight of green. We are going to do some movement and change the color to white just as you're seeing it. So we have two, which is the red one at the bottom and the white one on top like that so that's it just to show you guys and i'm going, just going to send the red one at the bottom to the top just as you're seeing it simple as that i just make a duplicate of the red one and give it a highlight of blue and all i'll do is to send the blue highlights ellipse down like that just as you're seeing it so easy so that's it this is how you do it okay so all i'm going to do is to change the color of the top red ellipse like that to the dark um pink like that on the page just as you're seeing it so that deep color and that's it that's it this is way cool so yeah that's to create the contrast right there so just as you're seeing it so it creates something like some opening like that okay something between the white ellipse and the text t and this is way cool all right guys uh take your font and just type in the over inside the white ellipse it will be good that's it so this is way cool and always make sure which is the third step is to make sure um you center your text make sure your text arrangements are always centered or they are in a particular alignment and it should always be equal like in a center alignment okay and this makes your work look clean and neat and professional so that's it that's it just so you know so this is the last step and also okay so i'll give you a bonus step at the end of the video so let's proceed okay guys so i'll just start creating these uh, nice shapes on the page and just giving it this blue gradient just as you're seeing it so that's it from there um we are done i'm just going to change the red ellipse like that to the deep color on the page just so that i make some contrast right there also this is way cool and easy and like that i'm just spreading it up like sending the ellipse up like that just to make it big on the page just as you're seeing it which is the opening i'm making the opening right there big like that by moving the ellipse up like that okay so that's it so i'll create more shapes on the page just as you see it inside the blue um, rectangle and just start type um, start typing the details into them and this is pretty easy just as you're seeing it so that's it that's it so in alignment i'm making sure everything is well centered okay they are in a straight okay something like a vertical mode okay so a vertical alignment so always make sure your works are centered okay 
and it will save you a lot and yeah your work will become very very attractive if you stick to the alignment method in arranging your text okay so all i'm going to do from here is to use the font um montserrat okay to type in this detail which is also going to occupy the space right there just as you're seeing it so let's go i'm going to change the color to white like that and bring the v back to normal which is zero like that and start typing the details it will be good so that's it and this is it so it is more like taking absolute control over our spiritual empowerment and this is interesting okay guys so that's it that's it from here we're going to add more of the details so i'll take my horizontal type 2 and bring it on the page i change the font style to montserrat medium and the font size to be reduced like that and i'll start typing in the rest of the details so catch you when i'm done all right guys see ya welcome so we are done with the details okay right there and this is looking presentable so that's it from here i'm just going to manage the page by uh, making the uh, men of god together with their names smaller so i'll select all of it i'll go to edit and free transform and just make the adjustment so see you when i'm done so welcome this is just the ad adjustment on the page just to make uh, what we have just created big on the page which is everything about the text right there and created some space at the bottom just to add this last detail at the bottom of the page like that so i'm going with montserrat extra bold like that and just sending the va back to zero and we are good i'll just type in the detail so here you can type in your mobile phone number and we'll be good easy busy like that all right guys and always make sure to put in mind the alignment make sure your works are well centered not always at the center of the page but then um, the text themselves should be centered they all have to be in alignment and this will make your work look presentable attractive and nice to the eyes of every viewer okay guys and what we are going to do from here is to add uh, the time everything about the time is going to be created from this page so um let's box on i'll go to the shape tools and take the ellipse tool so i'm going to create this uh ellipse on the page so let's go so we are in and there's it all i'm going to do is to change the color of this ellipse to something which is a pink on the on the page like that and this is way cool i'll just take the ellipse tool again and just create a new layer and draw this nice ellipse on the page just as you see it so it is so dark i'll just change the color to white and no harm will be created so i just bring it to the bottom of the ellipse like that and just change uh, the stroke i'll give it a stroke so i'll just go to the layer style give it a stroke and yeah the stroke shouldn't be all that big but then um, something nice and i'll just change the stroke color to the background color and we'll be good and this is looking nice already from here i just add in the time okay the detail which is time with a font human it is a very nice and attractive font and i love it so that's it i'm just adding in the time everything about it so don't miss out and the time so we are good see ya All right, guys so i have this um arrow image in the resources for you so that's it you bring it in and just make it face downwards or looking downwards just as you have seen it and position it right on top of the time like that and we are good so this is it it's too big i'll just reduce the size and we are good i'll select all and make sure it is well centered in the alignment mode like like there like so and that's it so always make sure your texts are well centered and we are good 
all right guys let's box on from here we are targeting the date everything about the date is going to be created so let's go i'll just type in the date with a font human and we are good okay welcome so this is the date and i'm going to take my ellipse to create a very nice ellipse at the top right there just as you see it and give it a stroke so i'll just give it the color which is a background color and uh, let's go i'm going to give it a stroke so i'll open the layer style and just take the stroke i just change the color to white and reduce the size to something small four pigs four percent it's okay so that's it that is it okay guys we're good we're good all i'm going to do is to type in um two so it is some, something like 21st two okay 25th december 2022 so i just type in the two with the font montserrat and we are good to go i'll just position it inside the ellipse and no harm will be created so this is everything about the date right there and this is a nice arrangement always make sure they are well centered i'm just increasing it a bit just so that it catches up with the ends of the 25th text like that i'll take my um rectangle to give it white and just create this nine or ten uh line right there vertically like that and that's it that is it so this is all about the date right there at the top left scanner i'll select everything about it and group it just for easy identification and allocation that's it and name it date that's all so this is everything about the date from there i will just go into my resources okay and bring in this lens flare i brought this at the end of the video and i mostly do it at the end of the designing process because it is so easy and does not distract the entire design so bring it onto the page so with this you can position it anywhere you like it okay and it makes the work easy so i put the blend mode on screen just to make it pop out like this and position it where you want it to be and everything will be easy for you okay so that's it and just give it a layer mask take your brush tool and brush around in the sharp edges using the procedure you already know and it will be cool okay guys so that's it i'm just brushing around the sharp edges you are not seeing the brush size sorry once again for not seeing my brush size but then it is cool okay guys let's box on so i'm done i'm just going to enlarge the date like this just as you are seeing it this is no harm okay guys so this is cool this is cool all right guys so all i'll do is to position this arrow right there and give it uh the gradient feel you can actually give it a particular color but then i give it a gradient feel and this shape which is the rounded using the rounded rectangle tool you can create this shape i just gave this shape um the gradient feel just as you're seeing it and this is very very attractive so from there you press ctrl shift alt e okay to bring in the overview just as you're seeing it so with this last step i want to show you this is to brighten um the work when you are done so you go to the camera raw filter and add some features to it just to make the work look attractive more attractive and welcome to the end of this video and i hope this video helped you and if it did please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification just so that you get notified anytime i drop a new video in the near future i'm simplicity see you next time in my next tutorial